Hi, my name is Payne Farmer, and today I'm going to be giving you an introduction into MEV, which is Maximal Extractable Value. And we're going to go into exactly what that means and how it can give you an edge when it comes to trading. To kind of put in perspective what MEV is and what it's doing, I want to imagine that you have a dried up lemon, right? Like, you know, you're thirsty, it's, you know, Sunday morning or whatever. And you want to, I mean, you've already squeezed the lemon pretty much. You have a lot of lemon juice, but you want that extra drop. That's basically what MEV is on the blockchain. It's the process of squeezing this, and I know it's pretty drawing, squeezing this lemon for every single last drop until it is completely and totally empty. But how do they do that? The first very important thing when it comes to MEV is understanding that there are different types of MEV. In order to show you this, I want to go to flashbots.net and their explore page. And we're going to go more into what flashbots is later on, but basically it's just a group of people that want to make MEV and everything surrounding it more accessible to people and more effective and better run. But if we go to their explore page, which lists all of the MEV transactions going on throughout the blockchain, we go to the leaderboard, you'll notice that there are different types whenever it loads. There's arbitrage, um, just go all times as it shows better. There are liquidations, there's front running or sandwich attacks you can find on here as well, and a whole host of others. But the important thing is that they all start at the same level, whether or not you're you know swapping USDC or trying to front run a sheep buy. All of it starts with a scanner. So what exactly is a scanner? Oh God, I have yellow selected. I'm sorry. So Scanner is basically a bot that runs on the blockchain and watches every single transaction in the med pool. For those who don't know what the med pool is, I have another video on this channel that explains it. And if you go on my Twitter, you can actually see pretty clearly what it is I describe in uh, infographic. But to make it simply, the mempool is the, I don't want this to be italicized or bold, is the host of all pending Ethereum transactions. So everything that hasn't gone through yet or hasn't been signed to the blockchain. And basically the only people that can really see what's in the MEB pool with some sort of you know success are the miners. And this is where the term miner extractable value comes from is because initially the only people that ran MEB bots were the miners because they were the ones that knew you know what was going on. So they would look at all these transactions and then they would decide whether or not they want to front run you or whatever it is. And uh, it was pretty much completely controlled by the mining oligarchs. But over time, with the creation of things like flash bots and everything else, it became more accessible for the everyday person to begin to actually work with MEV themselves. And that's kind of why what we're doing right now exists. So, right, if you're following me, they're looking at every single transaction on the Ethereum network, these scanners, and they're trying to find what they can do to make money out of it. And that's all MEV is. It's just them trying to squeeze you for a little bit more lemonade. Um, in my next video, we're going to go over how to actually write map bots and work with them more. But for this one, that's really all I want to do. I just kind of want to intro what MEV is. And uh, if you're interested in going any further, I recommend you play with the Explore page on the flashbots.net. You can click them on Etherscan, and it'll show you the pages. It'll show you how they work. And then if you go to their GitHub as well, you can see a lot more than what I can tell you in five minutes. If you like this, please feel free to join the Discord in the description, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.